Hello friends, welcome you in my channel Science and All. This is the second video of Fluid Dynamics from Fluid Mechanics. In this video, we are going to discuss about Bernoulli's equation for steam line. So for this equation, you need to understand what is the Euler's equation and how it can be derived. I have uploaded the link of this video in the description below. Please check out the link and get the complete information regarding Euler's equation. Now, let's start with our today's video. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Euler's equation and its derivation. So the Euler's equation is basically derived from the Euler's Bernoulli's equation is basically derived from the Euler's equation. And Bernoulli's have given some conditions that is the flow to which satisfied the below six condition. So the first condition is the flow should be a steady flow. Steady flow means the velocity of the fluid with respect to time does not changes and we can call this kind of flow is a steady flow. Second condition is flow should be an unidirectional flow. Means the flow should travels only one path and it does not traces the opposite or reversal path. The flow should be laminar flow. Laminar flow means there are various paths. The various particles follow the same path and it should not intersect each other and that kind of flow we call it as laminar flow. The flow should be incompressible flow means the density should not be change changeable. So it should be constant. The flow should be in viscous flow and flow should be irrotational flow. So the flow or the fluid of flow which satisfies all those six conditions can be applied to the Bernoulli's equation and such kind of conditions are only we see in the pipe flow. Now, now let us derive the expression for the Bernoulli's equation. Now Bernoulli's equation is basically derived from the Euler's equation as we know. So the Euler's equation can be given by dp by rho plus g into dz plus v into dv. So this is pressure head as we already know this is pressure head. This is potential head. and this is kinetic head now by integrating the Euler's equation we get the Euler's equation as 1 upon density integral of dp plus g integral of dz plus integral of v into dv and after integrating we get the equation as p upon density plus g into z plus v square by 2 equal to constant and after dividing the above equation with respect to g, we get p upon density into gravity plus z plus v square by 2g equal to constant. So this is the most important equation in the fluid mechanics that is Euler's equation which was mostly used for solving the various kinds of problem. Now the questions come mostly related to the pipe flow and the question may also become that which of the condition is satisfied by the Euler's equation and which does not. So you need to remember the Bernoulli's equation and the conditions to which the Bernoulli's equation can be applied. Now let's consider a streamline tube. So this is the streamline tube having a distance say ds, area dA. Let P1 be the pressure acting on the lower surface side and V1 be the velocity of the flow from the lower surface side. Let, this is the ground level. Let's consider this as a ground level. Now Z1 be the distance of the center of this cross section from the ground level and let's consider Z2 be the distance of this center from the ground level. Now P2 be the pressure at the upper surface area and V2 be the velocity at the upper surface area. Now we also know that Bernoulli's equation for lower surface area and upper surface area will be given by so let's consider this as section A and this as section B. So the Bernoulli's equation for the section A will be given by P1 upon rho into G plus Z1 plus V1 upon 2G. Oh sorry, it is V square. So V1 square upon 2G and which is constant. Now at section B, at section B, P2 by rho G plus Z2 plus V2 square upon 2G equal to to constant. So this is how we get the expression for Bernoulli's equation at surface A and B. Now according to the law of conservation of energy and mass we know that the say, uh, Bernoulli's equation at section A is equal to the Bernoulli's equation at section B. So the final expression that we get is P1 upon rho G 
प्लस जेड वन प्लस वी वन अपॉन वी वन स्क्वेयर अपॉन टू जी इक्वल टू पी टू अपॉन टू जी पी टू अपॉन रो जी प्लस जेड टू प्लस वी टू स्क्वेयर अपॉन टू जी इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट सो दिस इज हाउ वी गेट द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर अपर सर्फेस एरिया एंड लोअर सर्फेस एरिया एंड दिस एक्सप्रेशन विच वी ऑप्टेन इज कॉल्ड एज मॉडिफाइड बर्नॉलिस इक्वेशन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन ऑफ बर्नॉलिस विच वी कॉल्ड इट एज मॉडिफाइड बर्नॉलिस इक्वेशन नाउ इट वॉज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू नो वेदर दिस इक्वेशन कैन बी अप्लाइड एज वी नो दैट देर आर वेरियस पाइपलाइंस ऑफ फ्यूअल्स आर प्लेस्ड फ्रॉम टॉप सर्फेस टू द माउंटेन हाइट सो इन दैट सिचुएशन the engineer or the scientist have to determine how much the initial flow from at the bottom side or how much should be the flow at the top side so that the fluid will be easily flow from lower side to the upper side so for that uh, bernoulli equation most of the time is used now let's solve one numerical based on the bernoulli equation so that you will get the complete idea of the bernoulli equation and how it will be used so the problem is a pipe is 300 meter long so there is a pipe having cross section area at lower surface and having cross section area at the upper surface so it is 300 meter long and has a slope in 1 in 100 so it is at a slope of 1 in 100 now from 1 meter dia at a height n to 5 0.5 meter at a lower end so the dia of the upper surface is 1 meter and dia of the lower surface is 0.5 meter quantity of the water flowing is 5400 liter per minute so the water flowing rate through this pipe from lower end is 5400 liter per minute if the pressure at height end is 700 kilopascal means the pressure at this means p2 is given as 700 kilopascal find the pressure at the lower end so the how much amount of pressure should be required to reach the flow to the upper surface that we need to calculate so at first z1 so z1 is the height from the ground surface let's consider this as the ground surface and this as the height of the upper surface from the ground surface so z1 is 0 and z2 we got it as 300 so 300 is the total height into one slope slope that is 1 by 100 so in this way we get the height of z2 that is we get 3 meter now here the quantity of flow is given in liter per minute so we go going so we are going to convert it into liter per second so that is liter per second as 590 liter per second by dividing it by 60 and we are going to convert it into meter cube per second so in the si unit that is 0.09 meter cube per second now we also know that the rate flow equation which is given by a1 v1 equal to v2 a2 v2 so this is also we have studied in our uh, last chapter that is kinematics of flow i will also upload the link of those video in the description please check out the link and get the information now according to this law we can find the velocity at the lower height and we can also find the velocity at the upper height so the velocity at lower height will be given by q upon a1 and equal to the q as we have find that is 0.09 and area so it is a circular pipe so for that the area will be given by pi by 4 into d square that is d is 0.5 meter so this is how we get the velocity at the lower surface that is 0.46 meter per second and similarly we get the velocity at the upper surface that is 0.115 meter per second again the same area formula that is pi by 4 into d square now we know according to the modified of modified bernoulli equation we can write the bernoulli equation at the lower surface equal to lower bernoulli equation at the upper surface now putting the value of velocity gravity density so density is constant here so because similar kind of flow is passing from lower side to the upper side so we can uh, cancel out density so and the datum height is 0 at a lower surface and datum height is 3 at the upper surface now putting all those value in the above expression we get the final value for the p1 that is p1 equal to 99330 newton per meter square and equal to 99.3 330 kilo newton per meter square so this is how you can get the pressure at the lower side so you might hope you understand the concept behind the bernoulli equation hope you understand the complete video 
complete expression complete euler's equation also uh, so please subscribe my channel please write down your comment in the comment section whatever you want to prompt me to describe much more or if you want the some more numericals related to the bernoulli's equation please mention down in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit hitting the bell icon and don't forget again to like and share this video thank you and see you soon in our next video of fluid dynamics and in that video we are going to consider the torque and angular velocity of the sprinkler so how can you design the sprinkler so stay connected with us and thank you bye bye